Hi, this is Abe, and in this video I'm going to talk about the SQL rollback statement in Oracle Database. I'll look at the syntax and then run through an example. So the rollback statement is somewhat equivalent to the undo function common to many software applications. Rollback undoes any changes to the database that have been performed within a given session by the user who issues the rollback. It does not remove any changes that have already been committed. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean as part of the example. Also, if other users have committed any changes during their own respective sessions, those changes are unaffected. The only changes that are rolled back are those changes issued by the user performing the rollback. So as far as the syntax, it's basically one statement, rollback with a semicolon. Now I've already got my SQL developer application open. I have a connection to my database. and I'm going to use the HR account, which has some sample data in there. So as part of my example, I'm going to create a couple of tables, a table called ships and a table called ports. In the ships table will have some sample data and nothing really in the ports table. I'm going to run those statements. It says table ships created and table ports created. If I look at the, let me refresh this data. I've got a ships table. As you can see, some data in there. And then the ports table, I have no data in there. So now, here's where my, let me commit those changes. I'm going to run that. And that's committed. So all those changes have been saved to the database. Now, I'm going to insert some data into my ports table by issuing that insert into ports column port ID, column port name, and then the values. I'm going to control enter to run that. It says one row inserted. And I'm going to delete from ships semicolon. And I'm going to run that. It says four rows deleted. So now if you go back and refresh our data here, I'll look at my ships table. As you can see, all that data is gone. And the ports table, I've got that entry in there. So let's just say I didn't want to make those changes. All I have to do is issue a rollback, semicolon, and then run that. And it gives me rollback complete. And what that will do is undo those changes, this one here, the delete from and insert into, which, are, which we did right after our commit. So if we go back to our ships table, we'll see our data is back. And then if we go to the ports table, that data we inserted also got removed. So keep in mind, any changes that we make using DML statements or data manipulation language statements that are not committed are not seen by anybody else except that user making those changes. Until they are committed, again, they, they are not seen by anybody else. Also, keep in mind, an implicit rollback occurs when a program abnormally terminates or crashes. In other words, uncommitted changes at the time of that crash, for example, if you're using SQL Developer or SQL Plus, and it crashes on you before you had a chance to commit any changes, those will be rolled back and not committed to the database. So there you have it. We talked about the SQL rollback statement, went through an example and verified our results. I'll be posting these scripts onto my blog, as well as some reading material, which I'll link to in the description box below. Hope you liked the video. Please subscribe, like, and share, and see you later.